Hi guys, I hope you're well. My name is Anastasia and welcome to my channel. And today I'm talking about a holiday capsule wardrobe, capsule wardrobe for going out and about uh, just something that you have to know. I live in a warm climate at the moment, but I also travel a lot. I spend a lot of time in Europe and uh, sometimes I would go to US, sometimes I would spend the time in, in London and uh, for you know any holiday occasions uh, regardless of the climate you want to have nice clothes that fit you well and uh, you usually want to be dressed up in a more special way than you usually do <laughs> that would make sense uh, for you so here are some of my tips and some of my staples that I used years by years in my wardrobe and some recommendations that I can give you on how to curate and how to find those pieces and make them work for you. We're gonna start with one of my favorites, like mostly used items in my wardrobe for going out. It is the second skirt. I got it so many years ago. Uh, even before I was married, I guess it, I got it as I believe it was already second hand but it was in new condition. I couldn't hunt this piece. It's from All Saints and you know they make really remarkable dresses in sequin and skirts. And here I have to tell you the separates work so much better for those occasions when you want to go out and they're so much more versatile. And I have a couple of dresses in sequin as well and for them there's not really much that you could do so one of these dresses is by Zara you can find them uh, they make them uh, every year but they're a lot less versatile there's not so much that you can kind of combine it with you can wear something on top or like layer in the bottom but it doesn't look as sophisticated uh, that's just in my opinion so um, the skirt like this, you can easily wear it with any black top or white t-shirt if it's like less a formal for summer I was wearing for my a little party before when all of my friends uh, came uh, just the night before the wedding it was quite informal so I was just wearing a sparkly skirt with a t-shirt and some makeup and jewelry and I feel like when every time when you have enough uh, makeup beauty and jewelry you can pull out very sophisticated black pieces and make them really wearable for your going out occasion so um, yeah something like this I would usually wear it with some asymmetrical top you could even like clutch it together with uh, with something like this sparkly top this is my latest purchase from the other stories uh, for when it's a bit colder you could use some top uh, with a long sleeve. This is a crane called uh, top by other stories from last year But I believe they made a very similar one this year in Arcade or in um, other stories You can find a similar piece. Uh, some basic top that is a bit more like interesting And you know this one has a texture. It goes really well like if you want to wear some earrings or some uh, Some necklaces with any like statement bottom. It would also be good and very versatile much more versatile if than if it was a dress. So uh, my other favorite piece is the, the trouser. You probably seen it in my arcade haul. When I first saw the these trousers, I was like, oh my god, they are so cute. You could totally wear them out. So about the skirt um, or the trouser you can wear. Or with a nice uh, pretty breast up top like this one or uh, this top many of you liked as well it was uh, asymmetrical knit top by mango for when it's colder you probably want to wear something that's a bit more with a longer sleeve I love knit items I love statement knit so if you want to invest these are really amazing and I love these cage tops I had it for uh, since last year as well. They make them every year. They're really expensive, but they are really, really pretty. Uh, you can also find something very similar uh, in the other stories, sometimes at uh, even uh, at the H&M. Another top that I recently added to my wardrobe is this H&M tank top. It's so versatile. It's made of silky material, looks really good. And it has these uh, sparkly straps 
that I made also really nicely, nicely finished. I think it also comes with a slip dress, but for me, a top would be so much more versatile. Uh, but for me, it's, it's very important uh, to have like a good uh, piece of the bottom part of your body. It could be like really well tailored uh, trouser and if it's a trouser it should be tailored well to your exact body and if you have that piece you always know that you can get like this new cute top and it's gonna work for you. Similarly you can also wear it with your favorite leather trousers or with, with the heels uh, and any cute top that would be quite amazing. If you want to add some pop of color I was uh, I found this piece at the Misguided. It was last year. So this one combines really well as well, especially with the wider type of trousers or the winter with leather trousers. Uh, it's just so much fun and you can see that if it's just on a sleeve and it's open in here. And a lot of people are afraid to use colors in their wardrobe and this one is quite easy to use to be honest because uh, the color is not so close to your face and um, it's quite sophisticated as well. <laughs> Another few pieces that I added to my wardrobe for going out last year are these dresses by Misguided. Uh, to be honest, I just uh, probably felt like I wanted to have a bit more sparkle in my life and um, uh, why I like them. They're really inexpensive, uh, they made quite well, they looked good and uh, you know during those winter months uh, when you and any other holiday occasions uh, we mostly now stay in especially during the last year uh, many of us had all of our celebrations at home so to be a bit more fancy and feel a bit like more festive at home uh, that's what i like to do i wear uh, a dress with a sparkle it's quite a nicely lined from the inside so it's quite comfortable to wear and it's easily washable in a machine and you know like you don't have to worry about like ruining it and i do my cooking and i'm with the kids or i do like when i have guests around the house that's what I like to do for this one um, I uh, cut off the lining and made it wearable for this climate in Abu Dhabi and Dubai when in December I want to go to some beach club place and this works really well for those like brunches and a uh, daytime uh, kind of fun my other favorite black staples are more for the summer months but if you wear out uh, things that are not in a, a long sleeve you can pull these out so if you find a dress that suits you very well this one is by zara and i size up in this one it's a size medium i want it to be a bit chunkier in a shoulder a dress like this you can wear in many different ways and uh, another of my staples for going out is this a belt by Mar it's just so wonderful and it goes really well with any black outfits and for like when you don't know where to make an accent and honestly with this I always like feel so put together I don't even have to wear like a statement bag for going out sometimes I would use just a simple clutch or a silk clutch for going out so a basic staple dress in a material that's kind of cross seasonal i think it's a really really good piece to have in your uh, wardrobe for going out and um, kind of this one has double pop probably it's, this one is not going to be available because i got it a year ago but if you needed a bit more support or if you want it to be a bit warmer you can always have a buy or make a slip dress i like the one I have here. You can have it in white. I have it in white. This one. Uh, this is a white one. I had one made for my wedding dress, but I have the same one in black. So for any of those dresses that are a little bit, you know, like if they are made in separate but they're not lined so properly and you want to be more comfortable, you can wear a slip dress under your any other dress and you're warmer and you're all like put together and you're more comfortable. That's my favorite tip. Another uh, of my favorite combination that I found recently is using separates, uh, black separates like the slip. Skirt. So this is a very very plain and cute skirt 
by H&M. It was available during the summer. And uh, yeah, actually this new top just goes well with all the items that I'm showing you today. But also my like life hack is to get a black slip top, like a pajama top. So this is actually a Victoria's Secret pajama top. And um, but it doesn't have a lace, as you can see. It has a little like animal print and it looks cute it's finished really really well so you cannot really tell if it's a going out top or a pajama top and when you travel it's actually such a good piece to have with you you can wear a similar top with the trousers also add a belt cute earrings uh, some red lip and look amazing or even you can go further if you want to go further and make it a bit more sexy you add a, a lacy bra or bralette or I have a bodysuit in my case also by Victoria's Secret and then you put this one on top and then a skirt and it makes a really really cute outfit if you need more definition and I usually do I would wear it with over the belt and in my opinion it just makes such a nice and timeless outfit and so wearable and takes so little place in your suitcase if you're traveling and all these fabrics are really comfortable and moving very well and you know if you're in a hot climate if you're going somewhere on an island on the canals i think they should work really really well another piece that's my favorite and my uh, item that i use a lot in going out is the uh, off-white ivory cream dress it actually used to be a wedding dress anywhere for my wedding but it's really good to have for any photo shoots. So this one is actually, uh, it's by Sean Joy. It's tailored so, so nicely. And if you wanted a piece like this, be sure to invest in a more quality piece that is like double line and tailored well, because in the whites and or ivories, if you go for something cheaply made, it doesn't like never looks good. And uh, I recently wore it out and I posted on my Instagram and many of you asked what was it. And I found this shirt by Arkin. It's a silk shirt that goes well for any like work occasions. It could go well with any of the trousers or skirts that I showed you here. And I also wore it as a top layer for this uh, slip dress because it was really cold in August in London. It was pretty cold and I wore it with with the belt. And uh, yeah, everybody complimented me to have a very sophisticated outfit, which was nice to hear. Um, so now about my favorite shoes, uh, the shoes that I'm currently uh, gonna use in my uh, going out outfits are these new ones by Saint Laurent. They are patent and they have like signature silver toe and I think it's good. It could be a good like accent in all of my outfits. I probably want to try to wear them with some kind of hosiery as well with the tights because it's more glamorous. I was just wearing a lot of like designer shoes before. Re since recently, I also uh, buy pieces uh, of shoes and bags on a high street and they work really well and they're really comfortable. So these on a small heel are very comfortable. They're probably not gonna have exactly the same one in this collection, but I'll link you a similar one. And uh, if you're unsure size up, I actually have them in a, a bigger size. That's why I guess they're also so comfortable. Surprisingly, in H&M, they also make really comfortable shoes and they look good for going out. Honestly, these have been so good and I've used them so much in my styling and for going out and I traveled with them. They're just great. And the season they have some mesh mules in black and they have it in green I guess also my favorite item to add to your uh, going out wardrobe especially for the summer months or for traveling are cute but flat sandals so I have a pair of these these are by Gabriella Hess. They made them silk and they have a cute print. And I love them because they look dressy and uh, I can go out, wear them and be really comfortable, especially with all black outfits with either a trouser or a shirt skirt. For mini skirts, they work really really beautifully you don't always have to wear heels for going out if you want to invest in something modern go for a design that has a asymmetry and thin lines so this one i have 
is by Arcade. It's very similar to ones the Bottega made. I still, I think I want to get a Bottega, but I just can't decide on the color. And uh, but these have been great, but more fashiony. If you wanted something a bit more um, timeless, I would say, and uh, that would look good through the years, go for the French designers. French designers are really good at those. So these are by uh, Isabel Moran very timeless tall without like any fashion things uh, the heel is not very thin not a stiletto still very comfortable looks really good comfortable to wear as well i didn't size up in this one uh they have really really similar ones at bash the french brand maj sandro any of those you can check them out and uh, it's sometimes they wait make it in black with some sparkle and the shoe will last you for a decade and it will always look good and you'll know you have it stable i got it in a red because i have so much black so i needed some color in my wardrobe thanks for watching this video i hope it was useful for you and let me know which outfit is your favorite for going out do you want to wear a lot of colors do you want to wear sophisticated black do you want to like uh, to wear sparkle uh, let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in my next one